see four kind of leaves and we will understand their parts. So first of all, let's begin with the mango leaf. But before that, do you know that why leaves are green in color? Leaves are green in color due to the presence of chlorophyll in them. So now let's continue. So the, this is a mango leaf. So this broad part which you can see, the flat broad part of a leaf is called lamina. Different types of plants have different shaped lamina. So mango leaf has this kind of lamina. You can see. Now, this is called petiole. The lamina receives solar radiation which is used during photosynthesis. The lamina is attached to the stem with the help of small stalk called the petiole. So, this is only the called the petiole. Now, what are these lines called? You must be known. So, these lines are called veins. If we observe the leaves closely, we will see some lines running through them. These lines are called veins, right? And these are lighter veins. Now, a thicker line or a vein in the middle is called the midrib. So, this thicker line is known as midrib. The veins are responsible for the transfer of water and minerals to the so, veins play a very important role in leaves. Now, let's see another kind of plant and identify their parts of plant. So, this is a money plant leaf. Here, this is the petiole. This is the lamina, the broad-like structure. And these are the veins. The veins are very lighter and thus are not so much visible in money plant. This is the midrib. Moving on to the third leaf. It is a cabbage leaf. So this is a cabbage leaf. So here you can see a broad like structure here. This side. So, it is known as the lamina. And this is the midrib. It is very, very darker. And the veins are also darker over here. Now, last but not the least leaf is the radish leaf. So, this is a radish leaf. Lamina. This broad like structure is known as the lamina. This is the petiole which is attaching and this is the long strip which is known as the midrib. And here are the small veins. So there are a lot of leaves in our surrounding which we observe. So you can do experiment on any of them. So I have shown you few of them. So hope you enjoyed and understood something. Till then, thank you.